I'm going to show you the easiest way I've found to deal with raw time lapses. I used to shoot JPEG because I thought it would be too hard for my computer to deal with. But once I figured these steps out, I always shoot raw now for all my time lapse stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to show you this as fast as I can. It's a really easy way to handle raw files. So in After Effects, I'm going to hit Apple I to import. And I've already selected my folder, but it's this one. I'm going to pick my first raw file off my Canon 60D and it recognizes a camera raw sequence and I'm going to force alphabetical order and hit open. And After Effects will open all these files and these are small raw. I'm uh, actually using a MacBook Pro from 2007 but it handles it just fine and you know you have all your raw control, auto, white balance or you can customize it if you want. Um, and I'm just going to do some real quick adjustments. Uh, this is so much nicer than dealing with JPEG. You have a lot more control over your image. You can get stuff out of the shadows. You can uh, pull stuff out of the highlights. You know, a lot more control, a lot more flexible. So, you know, that looks a little ridiculous, but do something. That maybe, and maybe fix that vignette just a little bit too much. And um, you can always redo this, you know, if you want to, but just get something that looks good to you. You can full color correct it now. You can just get a starting point, whatever works for you. So let's just say that's what I like and that looks good. Hit OK. And it'll come in here and it'll actually be named based off of the folder that all the images were in. So in Finder in the middle of the road, comes in, that's the file name, and I'm just going to drag this down and make a new composition. And that came in just fine. I've had a quarter resolution just for some speed and previewing. Go up to composition, I can do composition settings, and I'm going to change this to 1920 by 1080. My frame rate, I'm going to change to 23. And I do it that way just so my composition length is the same as my clip and I can right click on this transform fit to come off width and there you go and you can reframe it a little bit again this is small raw so at a hundred percent it's a little bigger than 1080 so that works for me I do that to save disk space but you can do the same thing with large raw or medium raw files as well and just to see how it kind of previews Again, it's slow. This is an older MacBook, but for this process, it works just fine. And we've got a time lapse going on some car. And that vignette actually looks like it was too much, but you know, I could go back and fix it if I wanted to. Here we go. And I'm going to go back and just and it's going to re-update. And so that's the nice thing about working with RAW. Um, you can just change that stuff whenever you want. And of course you still have all the After Effects controls over here. And to move the process along I'm going to go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And I'm just going to set my output destination. I need the 2 on there, and I can output as ProRes 422. So I'm going to close this just so it's not rendering in After Effects while it's exporting, and I'll get back to you when that has finished. Now that my render's finished, I can go over to Finder and check out the final output. And it's a little choppy because my computer's having a hard time playing it back, but that gives you a good idea of the workflow. Hopefully that's an easy method for you. Now you could, if you were in Premiere, you could just end, you know, uh, import a raw sequence like this into Premiere just like you do in After Effects, but I find it a little easier to work with the 1080p file rather than the raw file, and it uh, presents some nice options for, you know, if you're editing in Final Cut or whatever. And again, the reason to do raw, you get a lot more control. You could go in uh, After Effects and do all sorts of stuff you know, sharpening, 
noise reduction, all that stuff. You have it all here. And I save my After Effects project just so in case I do want to change something later, I can re-export the file. So that's my raw workflow for time lapses. Just import your raw images into After Effects, render them out, and edit from there. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have your own tips or advice, or maybe I missed something and you want me to cover it, let me know in the comments section. I appreciate the feedback. And check out stronsvanderplug.net for more information.